Moving along now, a gun and a suicide note has be, have been found on the small holding where the body of uh, author McMini was discovered last night. Police say that the weapon did not belong to Minnie. Minnie is the co-author of the controversial book The Lost Boys of Bird Island. And the book implicates a prominent businessman and two former National Party ministers, including Magnus Milan, as central figures in alleged paedophilia ring that operated during the apartheid era. The book alleges uh, the trio molested and raped minors at uh, the Bed Island of uh, the coast of Port Elizabeth. Minnie's body was found on a friend's uh, small holding in Thiscombe outside Port Elizabeth. Our reporter Jade Lee Pauls has more on the story. At about 9 o'clock last night, police were called out to the small holding in Tearscombe, which is a few kilometers outside of Port Elizabeth where a shooting had occurred. Now, the Tearscombe home is also on the Tearscombe Rose Plantation, which is well known here in Port Elizabeth and is owned by Brent Barnes. Brent Barnes is the friend, lifelong friend of Mark Minnie, who was found dead. Um, on the plot. Now, just looking at that book, The Lost Boys of Bird Island, Mark Minney was the co-author. He wrote the book with Stain, um, implicating several National Party ministers, which include the Defence Minister Magnus Milan, as well as John Wiley, the then environmentalist uh, minister, and John Allen. And John Allen was quite a prominent businessman here in Port Elizabeth during the 1980s. And the revelations that came out of the book that the men would ferry um, you know colored miners to Bird Island which is also a few kilometers outside of PE where they were molested and raped and these revelations all came out of that book The Lost Boys of Bird Island with several victims also coming out um, one of the victims also came out last week and said that it was only not it was not only the Bird Island where these boys were sodomized and molested but also at a home just outside of PE and he spoke about his accounts but it's quite devastating um, for the community of Port Elizabeth as well as the authors around the country I've been seeing some of the tweets coming in you know just really shocked at um, how this has all come out of the fore we know that the book has been quite controversial in the media uh, with those revelations and coming and you know with all that has been said but um, a lot of uh, people shocked at um, this and most are saying that you know this apparent um, murder couldn't have been a suicide. They're saying that there possibly is more to this, but police, and I've spoken to Priscilla Naidu, and she's saying that right now they are treating it um, with caution. It is um, a delicate situation, and um, they are investigating more. An inquest docket has been open, but they're saying that right now they um, there is no foul play suspected. They will continue, however, investigating. I mean, throughout the day, we've seen some of the forensic pathologists coming out to the crime scene police also sweeping the area trying to find any other information that can piece together this this terrible incident but right now a lot of um, you know speculation as to why mr. Meany um, you know committed suicide if it was indeed a suicide um, but right now a lot not a lot of information coming to the fore it's back to you in studio